Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an advanced main menu GUI in Roblox Studio with zero scripting. To begin, get the model which is in the description and we will get straight into the video. Let's go. First, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to insert the model. So, go into view and make sure you have Explorer, Properties and Toolbox open. Then, these things should be open. So, what we'll do is we'll go into Toolbox, go to Inventory and insert the main menu. Click OK, and then here we go. Here's the main menu. You'll be teleported to this part when you insert it. So this acts as our camera part. So basically what it is, this big part is where the camera will be positioned when the player plays the game. And this little part right here will be where the player is, where the, well, where the camera is facing. So if we put it this way, it'll be facing this way. So let's move the camera around a little bit. We'll move it up we'll make it face the spawn so now this little part will be facing right there so basically this just acts as a guide to get the best position for your camera so what we'll do is now to install it we'll click on menu this one right here not this one this one drag it into workspace and then we'll click on this little screen gui and insert into star gui Click on the asset folder and drag it over to replicate storage. So once you've inserted them, you can go ahead and read the information script if you have any questions and you can check the updates out and if you need some help. So now what we'll do is we'll go inside, go to mainframe and go to buttons and then we can configure the positions of our buttons. And we can also configure the position of the title. <clears throat> the back to menu button and the continue button but i'm going to keep them all in their original positions so you can make a custom layer if you want to maybe like put them all over here with the title in this in this corner your decision so once you've configured your buttons what we'll do now is we'll go into settings which is the script underneath the screen gui and then we'll go right here and we'll start off with music so music basically just insert a music ID which you can find in the toolbox inside of audio and go to music and then just pick some music that you like and put it in. But if you don't want music then just leave it. You don't have to do it. So music volume just the volume of the music. One is the default. So music pitch is just how fast this, how, how fast the song goes. It norm, its normal speed is one. And loose music is basically if you want the music to play over and over again until the player leaves the menu so menu title which is just a little text right here so go in here and change title we'll change this to sword fighting and then we have sings button credits sword button credits button and update like button this is just to enable slash disable the buttons it might break if you delete the buttons so you can either choose to do it this way in the sync script or you can just literally just click on the buttons and delete them Make sure you don't delete player voice and, well, it, it won't work. <laughs> so make sure you have play still in the, the game. Next what we'll do is we'll do menu walk speed. So basically this is the walk speed in the main menu and the menu jump power. So this is just how high the player can jump while they're in the menu and how fast they can walk in the menu. So it's default to zero so the player can't move when they're in the slow main menu. But when they click play and leave the menu, um, They'll be set to a default walk speed so if you have a custom walk speed make sure you change this to your custom walk speed maybe it's like 80 or something lower like 7 maybe but the default is 16 so if you have if you don't have a custom walk speed then you can just leave this it's the same with uh, default jump power so if you have a custom jump power which is higher or below 8.2 studs like if you have no jump power, set that to zero. If you have really high jump power, just set it to your custom jump power. Now we'll call GUI. So basically this will be set to false all the time. Basically what it is, it will hide the chats, the player list, the emotes menu in the backpack when they are in the menu and it will enable them when the player leaves the menu. But you can enable this and it will enable the core GYs when they're in the menu so they can see the chats, the player list, and the backpack while they're in the main, main, main menu. Loading sequence, loading sequence is basically the, um, what they see when they're loading into the game, which is this little thing right here. 
we'll configure this in a little bit so you can enable or disable that back to menu button this just enables slash disables the back to menu button make sure you can delete this one so you'll have to enable or disable it in the main menu same goes for the title and the continue button you can delete these you can only delete the buttons secondary sequence so secondary sequence is basically um, another sequence after pressing play so like when you press play you'll be sent to your character and everything but if you want you can choose to click play and be sent to another screen maybe like a team changer or a choose where to spawn gy so there's some default ones here which is the blank pop-up the team changer and the rules pop-up i'm going to be using the rules so the blank pop-up is just a, a basic pop-up with nothing on it so it's just a frame so you can configure it to whatever you want Team changer, so this is just a team changer, it doesn't work though, since you have to put in your own scripts. And the rules is all configured, so I'm going to be using the rules. But if you don't want the secondary pop you just want to send the user straight into the game and they can click play, just set that to false. So then let's move on to the content settings. So we have the update log content amount, so this is basically on the update log, which is here. And you can choose how much you want to, how much content you want to show. Basically inside here we have like all the content here. Imagine if you choose four, it'll it'll show four of these. If you choose one, then it'll just it'll just show one. Like one of those. But if you don't want to show it then well just don't delete the pop-ups because it will break. Yeah, so you can only delete the buttons. I'm saying that again because everyone likes to delete the buttons. Don't delete the pop-ups. Just delete the button. So if we go back into the settings, we'll go back to the update log content amount. I'll choose free and I'll put some update log contents in it. There we go. So it goes the exact same for the rules content. You don't have to configure this if you don't have the rules pop or secondary sequence enabled. So yeah, if you don't have these enabled, then just skip this. So it's the same as the update log. I'll put some content in. there we go so we've configured all of the settings so everything past this point is just uh, configuring everything it's like putting the rules in their places and all that so remember do not edit unless you know what you are doing so there we go let's go ahead and configure the rest of the stuff that aren't available in the settings script so first off we'll start with the loading sequence so you all you need to do is you see this asset folder right here just put some assets that you want to preload so imagine like some some gun meshes or car meshes like you can preload all those so they don't load in when it gets spawned in so imagine if i just go into toolbox i just get a random car model so as you can see like it just right there it just loads in the meshes so you can preload these if you drag this into asset folder so just drag in your assets i'm just going to use this as an example so yeah all your assets that you want to load in goes into there make sure you duplicate them don't insert the assets themselves because they won't just insert themselves back into the game when they get loaded so like have one in your game duplicate it with Control d or command d and then put it into your asset folder now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and configure the other pop-ups which is settings and credits which is setting so we'll go ahead and configure the rest of the parts which is store settings and credits so we'll start with store set visible to true inside of properties and then we'll have this little store proper so all we need to do is if we go to the buy button well sorry go to product manager and then we have the configuration so this is the game pass id this is where you can configure so like if it's a game pass if it's a developer products or it's an accessory Make sure you configure these, otherwise it won't work if you do it wrong. So we don't want an accessory, so set that to false. We'll do a game pass, put in a random ID, and then we'll configure the rest. So pass name, so we could do like two times damage, and we'll do the description that gives you two times damage. And then the icon ID, so this is basically an image ID, so just put in an image of your game pass. So just upload it and then put the ID and it will change it to this thing right here. So make sure you put in your icon ID right there. So once you're done, then just exit out. And if you want to add another product, go ahead and duplicate it, select product and do command D or control D and it will duplicate it. But 
yeah so just like that's what you need to do for store so we will make store visible false when you are finished and let's move on to settings settings is a pretty easy one so all we need to do is so like you can choose which ones you want to enable or disable so go into inner background buttons and then content gameplay or performance so you can choose to disable these so gameplay or content if you don't want these you just want performance set visible to false on the buttons don't delete them otherwise it will break so all we need to do is visible true if you want to keep them so i'm going to keep all three of these so i can show you what they look like at the end so i'll set visible to false when you're done go to credits set visible to true and all we need to do is so go into inner background scrolling frame and then we have user so there's also me here you can delete this if you want to but i would appreciate if you kept this in the main menu so i get some credit at least but you can go ahead and delete it if you want to so here we have the user so i'm going to put my friend here which is hot rod g66 go to configuration go to user id put in your user's user id player name text we'll do hot rod g66 and for work text we will just put what they've done so they've well what has hot rod g6 done for me well he's a great friend and that's just enough for me so if you want uh, want to add another user go ahead and just duplicate it and configure it again but i'm gonna keep it as this so go into credits visible false and there we go so all we need to do now is go ahead and click on the main menu go to enabled and click enabled and make sure it doesn't have a tick in it and then you can go ahead and configure your games like add more ui and all that and then once you're once you're done with configuring everything go ahead and play test so once we're in the game we have our lo loading sequence here's the loading bar loading in our car that we made just loading in the meshes preloading everything and go ahead and skip it if you don't want to load it we here's the main menu we have sword find which is the tile we put in and we have play store settings credits and ugly log we'll start with settings we have performance which is shadows reflections and diffuse I'll, uh, I'll be sure to add some more performance settings but for now there's just this in gameplay they can change their fov which is you can just change the field of view 120 to 40 70 and content this is the content creator mode so when they click play it will disable the chat and the leaderboard so i'm gonna keep that off for now so you can go ahead and check that out for yourself we'll go into credits we have hotrg 66 when we put in the player id it loads in their icon same for me hotrg 6 great friend next we'll go to update log which is just all of this like we can figure this out this main menu some new swords and some balancing fixes is our store we have our little store here of the game pass our little icon i just put in a random image of hank <laughs> so yeah there we go click, uh, click buy and test out and then we'll move on to our secondary sequence so i'll just go ahead and click play here's our secondary sequence we have the rules no exploiting no abusing glitches and have fun so you've probably put in a few more glitches so just go ahead and scroll down pick your take a look at them and then all we need to do now is just click continue transition out and then we'll be sent to our character where we can walk around and then since we didn't disable the back to menu button we can go ahead and click on this and they'll send us straight back to the main menu and then they can configure all they want click play check on the rules again continue and there we go everything seems to be working if you have any issues or need help on anything be sure to go over to my discord server right here so if you need help or anything or you're stuck or have any errors it's like something doesn't work be sure to go over to my discord server right here our studio link is in the description if you want to join and all you need to do is go as go to verify click the verify blocks link scroll down go to help and then new post it's like in your title just put in like help this is v4 so make sure you mark down which which um version it is so which is this is v4 and we'll do help something 
isn't working. Then all we need to do is now just tell us what's happening and if it's possible send a video of what's happening or what you can do is if you stop here go to view go to output and then send us what happens here so just take a little screenshot and copy it and then just paste it in and then attach the image then just go ahead and post and it will be sent here so that's how I can help you. I can't really help you in the description, so please don't put your like scripts or anything in the descriptions because I can't help you in the description if anything goes wrong. So you can also report bugs in this server in the help channel if you want to. So yeah, that's how you make a very, very advanced main menu GUI with zero scripting experience. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.